How do you kick up your heels for your business? Kick up your heels, of course, means to celebrate or it means exuberant dancing or prancing horses. None of my horses are very prancy type horses. They're pretty, pretty nerdy farm type animals, pretty industrial working animals like we are with our businesses, right? So my question for you today is how do you kick up your heels? How do you personally kick up your heels? How do you in your business and in your organization kick up your heels? How do you celebrate? How do you have fun? How do you express joy and gratitude within your own life, but also within your organization? If we are all work and no play, guess what? We don't really love our businesses as much as we should and could because we're always focusing on the business, 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 drive, 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 struggle, 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 hustle aspects of it. And is that required? Is that involved in order to grow and build the business that you want? Probably, probably is. Guess what? Nothing happens unless we put effort or work into it. But when we do have successes, when we do have times when we need to celebrate and appreciate what's going on and acknowledge people for the successes that they've had and, and the contributions that they've made. How do we go about doing that? How do you go about doing that? I know in my businesses, we always had at least once a year an award or get together gathering where we appreciated and acknowledged and we just worked on our relationships, getting to know one another, getting to know one another's families and you know, understanding what drove us to come to work, to contribute, to be a part of different projects and, and why and what our priorities were so that we could support and help one another, not only on the job, but in our lives as well. So I know as a little girl, I always grew up going to the annual picnics where my dad worked. My dad worked for Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing and every year my sisters and I totally looked forward to going to the annual picnic. We would see kids and families that we only ever saw once a year, but we still enjoyed being a part of that. And I think that, I don't know how many businesses and companies do that anymore, but it was always something that I remember fondly. And in corporate America, every company that I worked for, we always had at least one annual get together that involved our families. When I ran my own businesses, we would celebrate in different ways. We would have acknowledgement and award parties and ceremonies. Not only do we celebrate people's special days, their birthdays, their anniversaries with the company and things like that. But we also would have random special occasions where we would acknowledge and celebrate when somebody did something above and beyond the ordinary. When they, when they showed their extraordinary self and they put forth extra effort on something, we would, we would acknowledge and celebrate that because guess what? We want to encourage more of that behavior, right? How our companies become great is by encouraging each and every individual to to be the best that they can, not just at home, but at work as well. Uh, the days of hiring people just to do a job for an hourly rate are, are coming to a, a blaring end. And the pandemic has, I would say, contributed to that. We've seen a massive priority shift in what's important to us individually and what's important in our businesses and in our companies. So curious, how do you celebrate? How do you acknowledge people? What do you do for fun? What is fun for you? For me over time, the things that I think are fun and how I celebrate in and out of my businesses is very different than how it was decades ago. When I was in my 20s, what a celebration looked like and felt like to me in my company is very different than what it feels like now. Um, now that I've been well over 50 and, and <laughs> what that looks like and feels like now in my businesses. Not only have I changed and evolved and matured, but so have the businesses that I'm involved in. So really curious how, how you're doing that. How are you kicking up your heels? It's interesting, this is one of those idioms that actually when it originated in the 1600s, it meant to be killed, right? Kick up your heels meant to literally be killed. Probably because a lot of animals when they die, they're laying there and their legs are straight up if they have four legs. <coughs> so it meant to be killed, but in the 1900s it switched to being a positive, happy, kick up your heels, celebratory, exuberant dancing, prancing horses, positive kind of feeling and, and that appeals to me much more than to be killed. All right, have an amazing day. That's our idiom for today. If I can help you in any way, ask in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it in your business right now? Take care.